Hello, my name is Per Kröger. I'm a game designer at Forge of Empires, and I'm proud to present to you today our new game age, the contemporary era. All right, people, look at this awesome new city made up out of contemporary era buildings. We tried to give them a little Asian theme. As you can see, like the buildings are full of detail. They seem to be uh, full of life, full of people, full of lights. And we have shop houses, which have shops integrated into residential buildings. We have shopping mall, we have a floating market and the fish market. Buildings that are, are crowded with people that are overflowing with life. One thing uh, that we're very proud of is our new waterfront buildings. As you can see, some of the buildings, at least one building in every category, has a canal running there in front of it. And when you put them next to each other, it will look like there is a giant canal stretching through your city. It's a very nice effect. It doesn't really have a game effect, but um, if you want to have a nice looking city, that's the way to go. Um, there is something that actually does have a new effect on the game. This is the new military buildings, and four out of five out of those provide boosts that will boost your army um, when you attack or defend. Two of them provide the attacking boost and two of them provide defense boost. And now let's go and have a look at the new continent map. As you can see here, this is a desert themed map which will introduce three new province leaders which you will have to fight or negotiate their provinces. And as always, depending on your choices, the story will evolve a little differently. But for now, I want to show you the new battle with the new units, and here we go. This is a new battle. As we see here, we have plenty of new units. The first thing you will notice is our helicopters. Yes, we do have flying units in the game. They can actually uh, quickly fly over all sorts of terrain. They just ignore terrain and treat every single field the same way. They can even move over water. They're very fast and have a brutal attacking force, so prepare for them in battle. Then there is the strike team. Look at these guys here. They can uh, move through all sorts of terrain as well. They're specialized forces. They can even move and enter water. Then look at the new tanks here. They have an awesome skill, the reactive armor. So that makes them very sustainable in battle. Um, the reactive armor has a value coming with it. And um, the unit can never take more damage than shown by this value in a single attack. So which means if you have reactive armor 4, that means this unit can never take more than 4 damage from a single attack. And last but not least, there is our awesome missile artillery. They're really big, badass missiles. Um, they only have one drawback, they shoot only once and are removed from battle afterwards. So make sure you win that battle, otherwise the missile artilleries will be lost. But they pack a big punch and they even hit not one, but up to four units. You aim and target one unit, you shoot at it, and it will hit one to three additional targets in range. Of course, there is a new tech tree coming with Contemporary Era as well. Look at it, nothing really new here, just technologies as you're used to. Um, prepare to research the internet, go for the um, waterfront buildings and the different technologies or uh, research all the cool military stuff. And of course, as you can see, there is a teaser technology that prepares you for the next era to come. We are working at it at the moment as we speak and it's gonna be the tomorrow era. All right, people, that's it for now with our new content, the contemporary era. I hope you're gonna enjoy it and see you next time in a new future. Mm -hmm.